we knew that we had a massive opportunity to start to make a real impact on the regeneration of Albion Square, which is something that's been um, really fought for for years, I guess, by the people that work and live in this area. It says something to the patients and service users when they come to see it. There's something about, we value you and we're prepared to invest in the premises that, that we're going to look after you in. It is a very grand building. Uh, I think it's a very beautiful building and it's going to make a significant difference. We gave confidence to the area, uh, boosted the economy. Uh, various shops on Story Street have opened up whilst we were doing the construction period. It's changed how I feel about Hull. Because had, I not come to, had this not happened, I wouldn't be living here and I wouldn't be as passionate as I am today about Hull and what its needs are. Hull is, um, you know, it's grown up over a period of years uh, as a city centre, very much linked to the fishing industry, to the port industry. And as a city centre, over a period of time, it got very uh, bedraggled, very sad. And so there's been lots of investment over the last couple of decades, a new shopping centre, a new theatre, and Finally, uh, the new Wilberforce Health Centre, which is going to be a really big asset to that part of the town. The building that was on the site before we started was the Grattans building, which was an old office building, and it had been empty for about 20 years. So um, I think people have got used to seeing this empty, run-down building in this location. Um, many of the shop units opposite were, were vacant. There weren't many businesses operating on Story Street, so it obviously needed, needed um, a bit of reinvigoration, really, did the area. We identified the need for this, well, probably three or four years ago now, and um, we've been working with City Care to develop that fine building that you see today. The critical thing about the Wilberforce Centre is the way it's been designed. So it's been designed in order to um, allow us to deliver services as well as possible for patients and too often I think healthcare is delivered out of buildings which just aren't fit for purpose but what this does it makes it very easy for the patient it makes it very easy for the practitioner. We went out and decided that we really needed a really aspirational design to the site to help not only create something that was really unique and special from a service perspective but to also help us um, really make our mark in the city centre and create a building that everybody could be proud of and would also be a beacon for modern services. It's uh, an iconic building for the city. Um, you can, it speaks for itself, I suppose. It's a fantastic looking building. Um, you know, so yeah, we, we believe that we've delivered it. It looks well from the outside. It's amazing inside. So yeah, we, we do feel that we've, we've, we've given the people what they want. We first heard about it in either late 2008 or 2009 and our initial thoughts were thank God at last we were going to get a decent building um, as opposed to the derelict eyesore we had at that time. We were keen to engage with the local residents and traders because obviously we were here for uh, just over two years so we, we knew we'd have an impact with the surrounding areas and we wanted to minimise that impact so we set up uh, bi-monthly residents and traders meetings where they were invited to, 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 to come to site and we'd uh, tell them about the scheme, uh, what was happening uh, within that period, let them know if there was going to be any sort of large deliveries, just sort of pre-warn them as much as we could and as I say minimise the impact on their day to day life. City Care and Partners have been absolutely fantastic throughout. They've bent over backwards to make sure those of us that were living in the street and trying to run businesses in the street were as uninterrupted as possible. City Care have actually worked together really well across a range of different organisations in health, police, the council and together we can actually make a difference and change Hull and make it a really exciting wonderful place for people to visit and to live. I think that was the secret of its success really that um, the people that were going to be directly affected by the building were if you like the biggest part of the design process and in fact um, the service users and the service leads for each of the different NHS services that are in here should be as proud of, of themselves as our architects are in creating a special building because they were as responsible as anybody. Having now moved here and living opposite a building like this and seeing what it can do to an area, how it can lift it, no, it's, that's changed. It's changed my perception of Hull and what Hull can achieve if we see more of this happening across Hull.